Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of mobile application development. In today's class, we are going to see the course objective and the syllabus overview of the subject. This subject is specially uh, or the syllabus is specially designed for the ECE third year students. Okay, where we are going to introduce mobile application development subject theoretically, not practically. Okay, so this particular syllabus consists of several course objectives let's see one by one so the first one is outline the usage of android development framework understand the main components of an android application and its entire life cycle development of for developing a database programming using sqlite identify the use of location based services in android applications and not only that at last how the sms or telephony or the MMS applications using intents are built. Okay. All these things we will be uh, learning or uh, achieving these objectives through one, one by one unit. Okay. So on the whole, we have uh, completely five units. So the first unit will be introduction to Android. So the students, whoever not at all uh, has an exposure related to the operating system. So we will be knowing what are the different types of operating system. Actually, what is an operating system? In those operating system, what specially an Android stands for? So, or Android meant for? What are the features of Android? How the development framework is there? Uh, and what involves that particular Android application architecture? Uh, in order to test this particular Android application, what are the different types of tools we have in order to create the app, what are the tools we have, or the emulators, everything. And not only that, in order to convert that particular Java files into uh, .apk file, what are the virtual machines we have, we will be going through all these basics in the unit one. So, introduction to Android comprises of uh, uh, features of the Android, uh, development framework, application architecture of the Android. And not only that, we will be coming across Dalvik virtual machine and uh, a small program or the overview of the steps, how to uh, create a first Android application. And uh, we are also going to see what are the different types of Android application and uh, Android development tools like uh, um, Android Studio, Android device, uh, virtual device manager, Android emulator, and Dalvik debug monitor service. We are going to see all these things. Once again, uh, I'm telling you, this is completely uh, related to the theoretical aspect. So we will be dealing with only the theoretical topics, all these topics in the theoretical form, which will be useful for your written exam. Okay. We are nothing to do with the practical or the lab sessions over here. Now, Coming to the second unit, in order to create applications and activities, okay, once you get into the Android Studio, where the where we are going to develop an app, so what are the files and what are the uh, editors or the resources we require to develop an app, we are going to see. So in unit two, creating applications and activities, so we will be uh, coming across the application manifest file, which is an a file related to the Android Studio. In that, we will be having manifest editor. And in that editor, how we will be dealing with the XML web files. What are all these XML files? And not only that, we will be seeing some of the external resources like how we will be giving values, how the icons or the animations or uh, layouts, menus are drawn. Okay. Actually, how this Android activity lifecycle will be. And we are also going to see the uh, user interfaces, how this particular Android U UI design uh, will be and what are the different types of layouts, how these layouts are def uh, defined, okay, and how these uh, layouts are optimized, all these things will be uh, learned under the creating applications and activities. Coming to the third unit, third unit is completely related to the database as well as the content management or the content providers. So whatever the inputs you are giving through the phone or through an app that should be stored in a particular uh, location or a memory base. Like So here comes the concept of a database. So here we will be using SQLite. Um, 
where it will be acting as a database. So introduction of the Android databases, introducing, uh, introducing this particular SQLite, what are these contents, values and cursors, okay? How we are going to uh, use these SQLite databases, how, what is this SQLite open helper? If you want to query a database or extract a values from a particular uh, location, if you want to update that particular data, if you want to delete that particular data, or not only that, if you want to insert some or add some sort of uh, content, or if you want to delete or update a content, how the, all those can be done using various functions and instructions can be learned over here. So database and content providers will be giving an exposure of all these things. Coming to the fourth unit, it is completely related to the maps and location based services. So whenever you are going to use these particular maps or location based services uh, in this particular apps or in smartphones in an Android operating system, how uh, we will be selecting a location provider. Okay. So uh, how to uh, get this current location, how this particular all these things are happening, what are the background instructions or the functions we will be using in order to uh, use this particular kind of location-based services, we are going to see all those things. So creating map-based activity, maps and frag uh, fragments, okay? All these things can be seen in the unit four, okay? So the syllabus may vary from university to university and the department uh, to the department. So this is specially designed for the ECE third year students for our university, okay? So whatever the topics, almost all the topics will be uh, common for each and every university, you can go through that. And the last unit is like telephony and SMS, okay? So this is completely related to phone calls as well as SMS as well as MMS, okay? So how we will be making the calls, how we are going to receive the calls, okay? How the uh monitoring of the phone states are there okay so how all these happening through an app in an android operating system and how this sms will be sent and as sms will be received or an mms will be sent or received all these things can be learned under unit file like telephony and sms okay so all these five units are easily available in the textbook okay so professional android 4 application development you can go through this particular uh, uh, publication, okay? So you have first edition, you will be easily getting uh, the soft copy or the hard copy in the library or in through the internet, okay? So this is one of the best suggestible textbook, okay? So in order to learn this. So once you learn these whole five units of an mobile application development, the outcomes can be these things. So we can able to analyze the architecture of Android and current trends in the mobile operating system. And we can also apply a suitable tools in order to design our own interface, user interfaces for a particular mobile application. Okay. So we can also uh, add some sort of SQL database kind of thing in order to give some inputs or store the data. Or we can also learn how the data will be stored in that. And we can also uh, apply the location based services in the Android applications. And not only that, we can also learn a lot many things like how the calls, network, data connectivity, or the SIM states are considered in this particular mobile application developments.